Hello everyone, George here, and as you can see, we are back on F1 Clash as always. And today should have been rewards video, but unfortunately we didn't make it to final round on my main account. And we got 39th in uh, the junior tier on my mini account and the rewards. Um, to be honest, I'm not gonna be making a video about me getting six epic cards of uh, Mick Schumacher from series one. So today we are gonna be continuing um, our new series, which is gonna be how to win series, let's say X or whatever. So for this one, I'm gonna be using Pierre Gasly at level seven, Guan Yu Zhou at level four, and both of these drivers are from series four. And they are currently the best drivers I have. As for my setup, you can just see I'm right here using only series four and lower parts. As I'm taking into consideration that you just unlocked series five and you're just like having a bit of trouble. And by the way, this setup is uh, quite good to be honest. It is balanced, 74 power, 82 arrow, 82 grip and 86 reliability with 4.68 seconds as average pit stop time. Now let's go down to series five and let's just play a couple of races, um, teach you guys the best strategies to win around specific tracks. And uh, for the sake of this video, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to play the four tracks, but I'm gonna be helping you with strategies about um, the two tracks that I, let's say, I can't uh, find in a matchmaking. So first one is gonna be around Azerbaijan. And for this one, well, you might say that at this stage, the one-stop strategy is the best, but I don't uh, totally agree with this. Um, you can see that we are gonna be getting a decent qualifying session here. Um, and by the way, I wasn't getting these um, qualifyings before, but P7 and P8 will take these. And we're gonna be going for hard tires on both of my drivers. Hopefully we can get a clean start at least. And I'm thinking of going for a split strategy. I'm gonna be going for three laps with the driver in front and four laps with the driver in the back. And then basically go for three, two, three with one driver and four, two, two with the other one. Even though that of course the driver who is gonna be on the soft compound for two stints is gonna have the upper hand over the, the second driver. So at the moment we are gonna keep conserving. It doesn't matter if we lose a couple of positions here as long as we are in front of the rival, everything will be fine. And conserving at this stage of the race, at the beginning of the race, is gonna help you a lot to boost and support your drivers mid-race and by the end of the race, if you are gonna be needing, let's say, a couple of positions. So Gasly did lose a position here, and right at the moment we have um, both of the drivers um, of my rival are gonna be behind us. Gasly is gonna be defending here, but I think um, I think that team order is gonna activate and it is gonna glitch, let's put it this way. And yeah, Albon is gonna be able to overtake Gasly, which is a little bit um, frustrating, ridiculous, because such thing um, should not happen. This, this is another thing that should be fixed, by the way. Um, we're gonna be going for one extra lap with Guan Yu Zhou. We are gonna be pitting for a new set of soft tires, boost for two laps, pit again for a new set of hard tires and boost to finish from there. Our first pit stop is gonna be without servicing as I'm gonna be starting our, my boost phase. And by the way, you cannot afford to um, boost or to service twice, sorry, to service twice in a single race because you're gonna be losing a lot of positions. And I'm gonna keep conserving with, Ga with Gasly for one extra lap just to be able to keep a decent amount of service inside the car so that we can push for two full laps before pitting with him again. So always your first pit stop is gonna be without servicing, your second stop is the one 
that is going to be with servicing. And this, is, this should help you a lot to pick up a lot of positions as well. So all I'm trying here is just conserve as much as possible and then boost while necessary and boost to, boost to overtake, not just boost to defend. And at this stage, you can just see that um, your drivers are going to be able to overtake easily than higher series. And what I do recommend is that, for example, if you are in series four at the moment, you just started series four, use series three drivers. Or if you have like, if you have unlocked um, some stronger drivers, just use them then then you don't need a strategy. You are gonna be qualifying at the front of the grid for like the first five to six series. But after that, things are gonna be going down massively for you. So just be careful at um, your driver's levels and about your setup. Because um, in higher series, you are gonna have to use, let's say tweaks in your setups. You might have to go for, um, let's say, um, one week driver, your weakest driver, just the way I'm using it in Series 10 at the moment, and your strongest driver, plus just go and use a fast pit stop time setup. This is a tweak of, of setups. You can just use sometimes your highest PAGR as well. You can use your lowest PAGR without giving attention to um, uh, the, the pit stop time. So we are currently in lap six. Gasly is uh, amazing to be honest he is up to p5 guan yu Zhou is on his boost phase at the moment he is up in p8 we are gonna be cutting down to avoid um getting a breakdown and hopefully we can pick up at least one position inside the pit lane as it is gonna be hard after that to overtake them as most of these cars are gonna be on the soft compound so Guan Yu Zhou is up in P4. Gasly did indeed manage to overtake the Mercedes. And yeah, we are just looking good. This race is gonna be 100% a win for us and we are just cruising. Um, it is a matter of time before Guan Yu Zhou overtakes Alban who is set to be pitting again. And yeah, I believe Gasly should be up in P5 maybe. He should be up in P5. And we might have to, um, right, he's up in P6 at the moment, but we are going to be giving team order as well to let Gasly through because Guan Yu Zhou is nearly out of fuel. Gasly, by the way, is honestly an amazing driver in this game. He's so OP this season. Uh, by the way, in all of his rarities, I mean, I'm currently using Gasly at common rarity. He is an amazing overtaker of course it is gonna be up to like a specific series probably at series six he's gonna perform well but after that he's just gonna um, start dropping back in qualifying and in races so this is gonna be um 40 43 points for us onto our final race all right so luckily for us we managed to get canada I'm literally in our second race while recording, which was honestly amazing. And I do know without you guys telling me that this track is giving you a very hard time. You are just struggling around Canada and it's not your fault. Canada is a track where basically overtaking is just nearly impossible. And sometimes when, when the game wants you to lose, you're gonna lose a lot of positions. So for this one, you have to go for a one-stop strategy. As you can see, um, using the medium compound on Gasly, the hard compound on Guan Yu Zhou, and we are gonna be going for four laps. Of course, just look at this, look at Alex Albon going up in P5 at the moment. He, he just, he just flied next to my drivers, bro. Like this is, this is bad RNG, by the way. This is when the game is preparing you mentally and emotionally to lose a race. But we are going to be fighting back and we're not going set, to be settling down to, to win this race. So we are going to be um, conserving for three laps at the moment and push Gasly for the fourth lap. 
um, I think I'm not going to be servicing Gasly as I want to give him um, the maximum amount of um, chance to be able to overtake Albon in front. And Albon, yeah, he's just, he's creating a lot of distance. He's already up in P4 on the hard compound, which is honestly, um, it's just ridiculous, man. Um, Albon in front has two drivers on the soft compound. We just lost a position here to Alonso. Um, rival Latifi now is trying to overtake, but yeah, yeah, it's just, it's not today, man. I'm not going to be letting him through because then the race is going to be over. Um, we're going to be going for five laps with Guan Yu Zhou. Um, we're going to be pitting with service and boost to finish on a new set of soft tires just to be able to at least pick up some positions. Um, one more thing about... The, all right, so this is going to be it, the strategy for this race, just a one-stop strategy. And basically, the overcut uh, works perfectly on Canada. As for the remaining tracks you have singapore and melbourne um i did make a video about singapore but uh, i'm just gonna be telling you the strategies again so either you go for a two-stop strategy which is gonna be three two two uh all of the race is gonna be on the soft compound and which i don't recommend by the way and you can go for a one-stop strategy which is gonna be four laps on your four, on your first stint uh, conserve three laps then boost the fourth and then pit with service and then boost to finish if your drivers did qualify i'm um, literally next to each other you can go for a split strategy but make sure you keep the lead with the driver who is um who stayed out for a fourth lap as for melbourne well melbourne is a tricky race and is one of the tracks uh, who are bugged all right, so this season, as we know, we have some tracks that are bugged where the medium tire is, is not working at 100%. So around Melbourne, if you boost around the final couple of corners of the lap, your driver is going to be spinning 100%. So all you have to do on Melbourne is go for medium tires and just go for a one-stop strategy four laps and four laps uh, you can afford by the way to boost your fourth lap of each stint so conserve three boost the fourth and here's the trick if you gave um the go to pit order for one of your drivers if he's gonna be boosting uh, in the fourth lap around the final couple of corners if he is going to pit your driver is gonna be avoiding the curb and spinning so you can boost the fourth lap of each stint and basically this should be another easy win for you as for this race we are currently in our final lap um guan yu Zhou is in p4 he's gonna be finishing in p4 ghastly is in p5 the rival did finish in p3 with his alex albon but yeah around canada as i said a one-stop strategy is your key to victory so this is gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be seeing you tomorrow for how to win series six until then take care stay safe and peace